What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel. Welcome back to UFC 3 Career. Moving on. Doing very, very well. Heading towards the, the Cormier fight. All right. On 100 right now. All right, he's number two. Kelvin Gastelum. He's actually pretty good overall. He's one of the guys who's been closer comparatively to the other ones. My health is better and my stamina is better, but my striking is relatively the same. My grappling's identical. So we get a five week camp. So yes, I will accept it. Let's boost that. We almost have the next GOAT status for UFC wins. Performance bonuses. Now that we're the champ, I feel like every fight will be a performance bonus. I can boost my wrestling. Blackburn kicks kickboxing. I wonder how much that's going to cost. That's the best gym. It's probably a milli. Unless I leave Brasilia. And work on more wrestling moves. I'm not sure. I want more kickboxing to get more, you know, stuff. This is a St. Pierre. You know what? I'm going to do it. Let's see what we can get out of this. That's like ain't nothing but a thing. We'll have enough money to get the new gym anyway. <coughs> but I want to try out different gyms and learn different things. All right. Are you ready for your title defense? Yes. Well, I'm working on it. I'm training right now. All right. So our, mo our fitness is already at 76 to start. That's a good sign. All right. Let's boost this. I think our streak just or striking just went up to a 97. Loosen this even more. Clinch, yeah, see these are together, which is good. So like I said, I might not even need to go ahead and do the sparring. It's not necessary. Some people made it seem like it was Garrett. You needed to do it, but you don't necessarily. It's a balancing act, you know? There you go. See, our stamina is like everything's going up. Our footwork's at a 99 at the moment, so we can max it out. We'll do it with the switch stance. Get that striking up. Get these clinch going. Oh, we lost some. Don't worry. We'll use, uh, we'll use some goodies. <laughs> to fix that toughness and heart let's boost that and we'll do it again it's only it's only 10 all right we're in 92 fitness so when we get up to a, once we get a certain amount of weeks in oh we gotta do a promotion here UFC photo shoot that really does boost it Cool. Okay, we'll finish it off with a couple more spar sessions. Body strength took a big hit there, unfortunately, but we'll fix that. <laughs> I thought my body strength was at, uh, hold on. I thought my body strength was at 100, but if it's only down 6, it was at 93. That seems weird. Right, let's boost these two. These two need to go up. Right the hell up. There you go. Our heart is now 100. All right. How many weeks we got? More training, less picture taking. Dude, it was mandatory. Shut your face. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. How much is it to fix it? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see what kind of moves I can learn. Because I can already learn from St. Pierre. Dirty boxer. Necktie. Wrestling transitions. Oh. Tudoro. We fought him already. Flying knee, lead overhand. I thought he had lead overhand, but not level 5. Traditional combos. Land 1,000 damage. 400 damage. And you get traditional combos level 4. Flying. So it's just lower level. Lead spinning sidekick. That sounds pretty good. 
Land 50 punches in, the, in two minutes, basically. What else we got? Body cut, body uppercut. Throwing heat. Overhand. Those are pretty low. Ryan LaFleur. Yeah, these are all Canadian guys. Um, obviously. Pull off a submission from full guard. 20 punches without missing five. Spinning, spinning back fist. See, that's something that's would be nice. Carlos Condit. Muay Thai combos lead six to twelve elbow. I'm familiar with that. Superman elbow. Body hand plant. Roundhouse. We already have the Taekwondo bonus, don't we? I'm not sure actually. Woodley. Jumping side kick. Superman jab. Knock down your partner within 60 seconds. Body roundhouse. Body jumping spin sidekick. And then St. Pierre himself. Superman punch level 5, so we can boost that. Land two street three strike combos. Oh, there's more than that. Risk reward. You gotta remember that. Legend survival. Do not get knocked down by your training partner in 240 seconds. Power. See, these are takedowns. These are defensive. Zero. Look at all these badges and things you get, though. Uppercut. Actually, you know what? I kind of like... Which one did I like? This right here, right? The flying knee. And the lead overhand. Traditional combos. I think I might go with this. Give it a try. I mean, I'm pretty much as upgraded as I'm going to get. Right, now we're focused on headshots. All strikes are open. I want you to go out there and have target practice. Come on now. Rung his bell. There you go. Nice combo to the head. Keep it up. Combinations. That'll hurt. I want to see more combos in there. Let's step it up. Good strike. You got to battle back from that. Big shot. Great combo to the head. I want to see more. That's the way, Headhunter. You need to be tighter in that half guard. Come on, come on, come on. Up, up, up. Come on! Keep that up. Come on now, you gotta work. We gotta hold him down. You're winning every minute in that position. Get it back. Way to target that head. You're giving him too much space. That'll do damage. Got it. Okay, there you go. You beat him next time. They wouldn't let me take him out. Technically, I knocked him out. Like six times. But look at those moves. And we got ourselves a new uh, perk as well. That was awesome. Well, I've been waiting for new kicks for a while, man. Get these things upgraded. Hook a brother up, dog. What do you got? The flying knee. Sorry, how do you use it? R2 and L1. That's a weird combination. I got to try and remember it. I will learn it, though. That's a level 5 as well. Cool. All right, we got that. What else do we have? Anything in the clinch? I don't think so. Takedowns? What did I get? Hold on, let me look. Traditional combos, flying knee, and lead overhand. That's it. So I need punches, right? All right, here we go. Lead overhand. I've already got a lead overhand, but it's been upgraded from level 2. Now it's going to be level 5. And I use that one a lot. That's the thing. So, and the other one was a combo. Traditional combos. They're only level two. Now they're a five. So they're going to be worth more damage. You got to understand that. All right, we got all those got selected. Now let's see what kind of perks. What perk we got? Oh, it's health, huh? Increase ability to stagger opponent with core ball. I don't do that often enough, so I'm not going to do that. Awesome. Great training session. <coughs> There's a lot of good moves I can learn from this gym. 
You got lucky. There's no way you can defend that title. What are you talking about, dude? Weren't you, like, complimenting me before? I'm at pretty high fitness right now. Take down defense. Keep boosting that. Striking is at a 98. Right, for this next one, I'm going to fix myself. You know what I mean? Unless they... No, they don't want anything there. So, Oh, it's the last week anyway, so... Let's get some physical therapy. I love how you have to tweak that. Now let's boost the fight hype. And then I'll train the last 10. That should be enough to get it to a high. What do I want? Toughness up? We'll do the clinch throws. That's pretty low. There we go. I'd say we're like at perfect training now. I'm ready to go in for this fight. Nice. All right. Let's do it, guys. Gastelum. In Japan again. All right. Throughout UFC history, wrestling has been a skill possessed by some of the best fighters to ever step in the octagon. Shown plenty of skin. It's like his wrestling isn't up. Well, it is now, so Maple Leaf MMA. It's the same usual, though. Hey, everyone. I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. When the UFC middleweight champion won his belt, no one knew what to expect from the fighter with the exciting style and unyielding confidence. Yet since that memorable title winning night, he has successfully defended the belt multiple times and he shows no signs of slowing down as his next title defense approaches. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute and I'll see you at the fights. Sweet. And coming up next, our main event. So do you carry that belt with you at all times? Is that what happens? Oh, caliente. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago. But he is let by I'd say he's with he's, he's the focus uh, now unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting he's a deserving of it middleweight legacy of his own he's a wrestler though five minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion we will see how he all right man but I'm ready I have new moves my, my moves are worth a lot more damage now so so here he is, the reigning, three times from a white buff. So the, the, oh, the white buff. It ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. It ain't safe in the octagon with Quinn, though. Uh. With a Canadian. <laughs> Fuck with me, and get some money. Money. Same exact age, he's a lot shorter than me. Of age, and I have a reach advantage. A That's a good sign. And reach. All right, now with the official introductions, but that don't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 13 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, presenting the challenger, Kelvin Gaston. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. 
fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, the gentleman. Why doesn't he say of the world anymore? All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. We'll all right. Touch gloves and as long as there's underway. some sportsmanship. You ready to fight? I'm ready. ready. All right, here we go. The wait is over. Oh, whoa, what a cheap shot. Pound title is up for grabs Calm down. Right here, right now. All right, so here is the UFC champion trying to make good on yet another UFC title defense. Waste of stamina. And how good was that effort the last time, Joe Logan? He won the fight by flush knockout. He'll be looking to do the same here tonight. And as the oh, big flying knee. Who saw that coming? He's got him hurt here. Get up. Fine. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand. Champion. Keep wailing. And really starting to make these oh, he got up. it. Posture's up now. That's Keep going. He's so almost right done. Still working this ground and pound. Good punches. He's covering up, doing a nice job of blocking those shots from the top. All right, he, he got out of it. Let's just get out. Let him up again. Oh, I see. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here. Oh my God, let me up, you bastard. I'm just trying to get up. I can't get up. I hate guys like this. Now he's reversed it. I just went up at this point. I could have got him if I was on it better. Side control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Half guard. He's doing a great job of moving and trying to get up from here. I'm up. Fighters back to the Crazy. Here. Switching stances here. Gastro Whoa. Goes for the takedown. He misses. How about that shin? Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Oh, he oh bad timing. To the body, Joe. Oh, very nice. Whoa! Go! Oh. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Did I block him? I did. Go backside. Oh, he got out of it. Trying to get up. Oh, he got Oh shit. Crawling. Excellent movement here on the ground. I should have went side control. In half guard now. See if we can get up from here with that stamina. No, we can't. I need more stamina. Keep going, just keep blocking him. Just keep defending. Holding him here, moving to north south position. Get up. That was a reversal. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Wow, he got lucky. He lasted that long. Look at that flying knee. New move managed to get it to come out nicely. I almost had him with that ground and pound too. He pulled me in at the last minute. <laughs> but I definitely won that one. So their health is pretty low because it was stunned. He was stunned many times near knockouts. So let's try and take him down. Round two is underway. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering. Oh! He's in big, big, big trouble. Oh, he needs that. Power in that needs that. kick, but misses. Fucking bastard. Nice takedown. One full. So an interesting backdrop to this one. The Trying to get up. I'm up. The practitioner has left his gym and gone to a wrestling-based camp. Now, no denying. Wow! He's trying to stay up. Go! Go, Whale! Whale, Whale, he's done. That's it. We got him. Wow.
beautiful knockout. It was only a matter of time. He was a he was a ground and pound kind of guy. He was submission based. I just had to make sure his you know he didn't take me down. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and... Yeah, I got a couple of knocks there. That was it right I think that was it. And a huge win Boom, for that you could see, because he was kind of we'll dazed and again. stuck on the fence. Got a couple extra and shots. see it again. Bang. And there was, that was the official knockout. I love how the ref there is still the sitting UFC there. Middleweight King. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned that in. That was so though. gorgeous. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight. But he's Easy money, baby. We had tons of knockdowns. We had three, he had none. There we got that UFC win. The whole world. We need to, okay, there you go. Defend your championship at least four times. That's only one more time we need from that. Tons of cash. All right, there it is, Brian Ortega. Nice fight, Dunkashin. All right, next fight, let's simulate the recovery. Now we have so much money now. I could train in another gym if I want. Actually, I don't even know if I should. So I think it's like a million to get it, that last kickboxing gym. Oh, Sosa. This should be, oh, look at his grappling, it's so good. This should be a real challenge, this, my goodness. I'm willing. No way you can defend, why does he keep talking smack? I'm not even fighting him yet. And then you say something. Oh, there's another level of UFC fights? Oh, I didn't even know that. There's multiple levels, so I have four. So I can unlock the performance bonuses or consecutive title defenses. Or the UFC fights. Fight of the night bonuses. I'm surprised I don't have the fight of the night bonuses yet. Pay-per-view buys. Main events. Followers. Hopefully we'll get some of those, because I do want to get that for sure. Anyway. Let's just keep it going, man. Let's take a look at It's a $500,000 gym But we got Bisping there Oops. But I'm actually going to keep going with this gym Because I just got here Easy money for me, that's nothing Another one from Dana all right, we need to train, dude. Actually, I'm going to look at my attributes right now. See what's low. Like, these are so high. Look at my striking. Um, the grappling, this is my lowest, obviously. But some things are really close. So far, my lowest thing's an 83. Fitness is 100. Yeah, man, lowest things in 83. So really, got if I really want to bring up my numbers, it's my grappling. Slowly but surely working our way up there. I'm baffled that my body and leg strength or my body strength is in 93. I thought it was higher than that. Doesn't seem to matter though, does it? I know it's really low right now because my fitness is low as shit. Sometimes it's just better to do that and work on the clinch. We'll keep training like this until something happens. We don't, like I said, we don't necessarily have to, uh, cause we're so high up in our stats. I don't know if sparring is really gonna ha help us right now. Take down. Oh, we lost some leg strength. That's That just happens over time. There's like nothing you can do about that. Clinch th yeah, our clinch throws are so slow. They're so low. 
Working on it though. Unless I want to learn new moves. Which is always nice. Maybe I should. Oh, hold on. I got to promote. Two things I got to promote. Oh, damn. I can only promote one thing at a time right now. So I'll do this one first. And then I'll do one of these. Let's do it. Take down and body strength. Okay. And then the next day, we'll do more promotions. There we go. Check me on TV tonight. I didn't even look at what it was. <coughs> Wait, how much do I have? 80. Should I learn a new... Oh, 60, rather. Maybe I should learn a new move. Let's go see what new moves we could learn. Because learning new moves and things really does improve things. You know, prove that. Crane kick. Necktie. I'm assuming that's a... Uh, oh, Brunson. I remember him. Superman punch level 3. 50 punches in 120 seconds. Two minutes. Mm, I'm not sure if I want to do that. God, this song is absolutely garbage, man. I'm sorry. It, it sounds like ass. Two touch spinning sidekick. That sounds really good. Overhand straight and body. Maybe we should just improve that. Because we don't have them. We don't have level four. They're probably really low. Let's do it. Now we're focused on accuracy. I really want to see good punches. There we go. Touch him up. My bad. Oh, he is so fucked. Work. Good. Yeah, really that was the easiest up. one ever, dude. Holy hell. With one punch, I got like most of it. And we got untouchable as well. Let's apply some moves. So we're just replacing those body punches and things. Like the straight is, is better now. It's a level four. Or rather, it's a level three. Because I use these punches a lot. You got to remember that. My body jab is level four. And what else did we get? Oh, wow. We have a new one. Overhand. Oh, that's... Oh, we had a lead overhand. <clears throat> now we got this one. So instead of hitting triangle... Wait a minute. What is it? Yeah, instead of hitting square, we use triangle and we have the other hand. That makes more sense. This needs to go up, though. I definitely want to get that as well. All right, let's see what the perk is like. We'll just switch anything, really. Let's see what it's like. Ability to slip punches in the first round. So if we have maximum power, does that mean we have a, over, like, 103? Like, if they're not stackable, then maybe I should switch that perk up. <coughs> oh, shit. Did I miss something? Or did I get them all? Lead overhand, straight, and then body. No, I got them all. We're good. All right. Might as well get a bit more training in. Up those clinch throws. They're too low. Oh, we still have a 10 skis. Those clinch throws. This guy, oh my god, Cormier, shut your mouth, dude. Like, why are you why are you throwing so much shade at me? Come on. Be humble. Sit down. All right, let me see. No, there's nothing I can do about that wear and tear. That's just normal. Again, doing these is, is eventually gets kind of redundant. Maybach music. I say we do that. That sounds pretty good. Take down defense. Let's do it again. Get it up to a 90. We have 10 left. That clinch throw, that's terrible. So let's boost it. 99% peak fitness. We're looking pretty good. So, I think we're ready to jump in. I don't know if our promotion was enough. Probably going to get it to a medium. Oh, we ended up getting it to a high. I'm good with that. Because the interview on TV. So, what's up? Let's do it. This should be an interesting challenge. All right, coming up next, this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. All right, guys. Sosa, he's a man. 
who's been in the UFC for a long so time. Very respectable fighter. World champion Ronaldo <laughs> Shaka de Souza. You know, we trot out the term world class when it comes to jiu-jitsu a lot in MMA, and maybe more than we should. Shaka de Souza is world class personified. Still chasing down that UFC middleweight <coughs> title. Perhaps tonight will be his night. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life. The biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world. To Sorry. <coughs> So, Joe, we have arrived at our final order of business, the UFC middleweight championship fight as the champ makes his walk to the octagon, brimming with confidence. And why not, given the way his last title defense went, we'll see if he can come through with another one here tonight against a challenger and number one contender, many believe right now could be the best guy in the world. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. Our I am ready. For this, our main event They've changed a couple of things like grappling and all so that just because I upgraded apart, them recently. These two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 42 wins, 17 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, introducing the challenger, Ronaldo Jacare Souza! And now we can see the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, the gentleman. For the gentleman. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves. So back to your corners. Come out fighting. All right. All right. Here we go. I, I always respect the sportsmanship. Fight. It's been you know. A long time coming. I mean, I understand you hate the guy, but still, there's no beef. Why let right, there be beef? One more for good measure. There we go, bud. Championship fight. This should be good. Oh man. All right. So here is the UFC champion trying to make good on yet another oh, UFC title defense. And how good was that after the last time? Joe Rogan, Wait, hold on. Back it up. Knockout. He'll be looking to do the same ah. tonight. And as the contenders have risen up to this champion's level, most have not been able to deal with his power. Oh, he got me to take that block. It no. Nope. <laughs> He's a ground game guy, isn't he? Guy out early and often, as he has done to so many challengers in the past. Shakade gets caught with that. Got a block. Get rid of it. Easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this oh, I missed him. is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home. Come on, Sosa. That one hurt. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent block. Sosa gets caught with that punch. Keeping that reigning. Wait for him, wait for him, wait for him. Do it. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Do it again, do it again, ready? Wait for it, do it. Oh, I missed. 
Did I block him? No, I did not block him. Wow. Sosa. I kind of want to try a submission on him, but I think he's good at that. Oh, good block. I thought that was going to be good. Oh, he's saving himself. Sosa, you got me there. Oh, big, big kick, big kick. Damn it. He's good at those takedowns. I'm actually to get up, though. He's starting to figure me out. Sosa's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh! Oh! Damn it. But I can't get the block. I don't want to... Actually, I'm wondering if I shouldn't get up. It's on my stamina come back. Oh, I could have blocked that. Missed it somehow. It's like a matter of time. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Left kick to the body. Oh, big over. And there's another one. Damn it. But the block doesn't work. Going to rubber. Rubber guard. Side control. I don't have much time. I know I'm winning the round. Can you imagine a submission? Let's see some of the here. Couldn't get any knockouts, so a lot of good clean hits. He kept he, his his last defense effort, and here is definitely to uh, is definitely to like do a takedown before he gets knocked out. That's his thing. Ground game action is what he's good at. All right, round two. This is gonna become one of those. Oh, wow. Whoa! This could be it. Oh. Damn it! That didn't work. Oh, oh my God! My stomach. You can tell that body shot hurt him bad. Damn it. Nice takedown. And the rubber. Let's try and do this. Full rubber guard. Mission control. Let's Wanna try side. Look at that reversal. Let's go north south. Oh wait, no, wait. North south, north south. Position here. He gets in the north south. Oh wait, I want I want north choke. Oh no. Let's just block him. Let's just block him. Get that stamina back. Backside, it's not exactly ideal. This no, isn't what I'm wanting. In yeah, I'm in north, sto snow yeah, north south. He's now back in north south again. Oh, he's blocking it. It's I'm out of stamina. I can't get anywhere. Just over Look at that reversal. Go. Wow. Full I should just get up. I'm up. I had no stamina. That's the problem. I know. I know. So a much different approach from him here in round two. That's Took frustrating. Him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and Ow. has really picked up the pace. Wow, I'm getting two. wrecked out here. They're working from the clinch once more. How about that shoot? I'm so tired, man. Sosa gets the double leg takedown. I'm up. Beautiful scramble. <laughs> oh, what a waste. No good. Go over takedown, got him. Side control. I want to get that move. Go north south. And he's trying to Wow, he blocked it. No, it's not happening. I'm too exhausted. Moving and transitioning here on the ground. Just block it. The side. Back to side control. Let's get ready to block it. Block it. Good. North south. No, north He's south. Damn it. Guard. North south, north south. Well, he's in north south now. Oh, he's I can't lock it in. 45 seconds remain in the round. Did I block it. Backside. Can we flip it? There you go. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Can we go with the bulldog? Yes, I got it. Hold on. It looks like he's got a submission locked up. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm going to lose that one. 
I knew he was going to do that. He pulled out of these out. Now he's in full guard. Oh, right, that's wow. All right, so the round is over, and this fighter's eye is swollen shut. I'm just so well, tired. Quite, but it's getting worse at this point in time, and it's certainly something that bears watching. Eventually, though, his face is going to run out of stamina, end, if you will. But I'm not sure this fighter's going to be able to answer the bell here for this next round. And here's a nice oh, you can see where it's land. getting red on the side really there. Got a chance to see some awesome Third round, this thing's going pretty long. Count it up, bro. Oh, he's not having it. He's the all. Oh. Wow, Dan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dan, oh, I always drop the block. Come on. Take him out now, now, now. I think I got him. Oh my god, I did it. Woo. Holy shit. I told you it was a matter of time. Yeah, Joe, that was some throwback style ground and pound. He was trying to pound his I was fighting my way out of a knockdown. He wasn't looking to score big old right. He, he his face was so weak from all those big punches. Like it was well, it, the fact that he made it to round three this was pretty impressive. Of his that was Let's nuts. That. Now we go inside the octagon wow. buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Murray is going to stop in this contest at 30 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, the gentleman. And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed, well, there we go. champion of the world. That's always satisfying. A lot of knockdowns. He, like I said, he was hanging by a thread. Slowly making our way up. I believe still. There it is. Defend your championship. We're at 71%. I think that's enough time to get. Oh, we made a milli from that. Damn. Hell yeah. We got so much bank now, guys. I think Quinn is going to hold that belt as long as he wants to. I mean, that was just ridiculous, though. Soso -so knows how to take you down and counter. Like, there were times he was in danger. And he kept him, he's kept himself in it just by keeping that ground control. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. Up next is Cormier. That'll be nice to shut him up once and for all. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash danq8000. For, fa er, for live streams and other content, Twitter, danq8000. Instagram, danq8k. Snapchat, danq8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description as well. And if you want to go ahead and save 10% off your next DX Racer purchase, there's a link in the description that will take you to their website with a promo code to use at checkout. Thank you guys so much again. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. So pretty, so pretty. Put you in the guillotine, brave bitch. See me better tap out before you see a blackout. Back out of the cage, you may fight another day. Till then, do the dance. One, two, get in tune with the motherfucking chain. Yeah.